Well, there's lots that could be said about that, but we're going to just try and pick up on what Luke tells us at the very end of his account about what's going on there. And I wonder if you'd like just to turn maybe to one or two people near you and look at the passage, try and answer this question. What's the last thing Jesus did before leaving earth? What's the last thing that Jesus did before leaving earth? You've got about half a minute to discuss that with the person who is sat next to you. Okay, your time is up. Anybody got an answer for what's the last thing Jesus did before leaving earth? I'm going to come to you. You got an answer? Blessing people. Well done. That's absolutely right. If you can find uh, where the little number 51 is, sorry, the end of 50, he lifted up his hands and he blessed them, which I guess begs the question, what does bless mean? It's quite a sort of churchy word, really, isn't it? We, we have to say bless you when someone sneezes, and that's, that's about it. But what, what, what does it mean to say that Jesus blesses people? Well, the word bless means give good things from God. So the last thing that Jesus did before he left earth was he blessed his disciples. He gave them good things from God. Now, here's another question for us. What We've seen that the last thing that Jesus did before he left earth was to bless his disciples, his followers. But what did Jesus do as he left earth? What did Jesus do as he was actually leaving the earth? And I'm not going to give you time to consult your neighbor. But anybody got an answer? What did Jesus do as he left earth? Maybe you do need to talk to your neighbor if you can't answer this one. It's not a trick. He blessed them again. So the last thing he did on earth was bless them. As he was leaving earth, he blessed them. He gave them good things from God. So verse 51, we read, while he was still blessing them, as he was still blessing them, he was taken up from earth. So as he left the earth, still he was giving good things from God to his followers. Now, given that the last thing Jesus did on earth was to bless, and as he left earth, he was still blessing his followers, what is Jesus doing now that he is in heaven? Well, the answer is the same. The answer is that Jesus is still blessing his followers, giving good things to God from God for those whose trust is in him. And what that means is that for each of us, it is wonderful news that that Jesus is in heaven. Here's what a verse from the New Testament says says Romans 10 verse 12 Jesus richly blesses all who call on him Jesus richly blesses all who call on him let me put that another way Jesus gives lots of good things to everyone who trusts in him now I wonder actually if that is how we do think of Jesus do we really think of Jesus as someone who gives good things to us I want to suggest that there are two views of Jesus that do the rounds. Here's the first one. It's the stern school teacher view of Jesus. That we tend to think of Jesus as someone a bit like our scariest school teacher that we had. And we think of him kind of wagging a finger and being a little bit cross and a little bit disapproving. That's one view that people often have of Jesus. Here's the other view. Now, I know it's not really the time of year, um, but that's Father Christmas. 
I wonder if anybody can read what's around the edge of this badge for us. Any of the boys and girls able to read that out for us, what it says? How's your, how's your reading skills? Thank you very much. Merry Christmas, have you been good? Often we think of Jesus like that, that he's a bit like Father Christmas. So if we've been good, then he'll give us good things. But if we've been naughty, then we think, well, Jesus won't give us anything that's good. And he'll just give me bad things and he'll be uh, unkind to me. But let's think again what, what we've been looking at. Jesus gives lots of good things to everyone who trusts in him. It means the stern school teacher view of Jesus has to be wrong. That's not what Jesus is like. And the Father Christmas view of Jesus is wrong as well. It doesn't depend on us being good, Jesus giving us good things. Jesus, if I can put it like this, is in the blessing business. Jesus gives lots of good things to everyone who trusts in him. Can I give you two invitations? The first is, if you're just here today, you've never come before, you've never really thought about Jesus blessing, giving good things before, let me say that in our church family, we do believe in our experiences that Jesus does bless, that he gives good things. And if that is news to you, we'd love you to come back in future weeks and explore that further together. If you're used to this idea that Jesus blesses, maybe you've been part of the church family here for a while, our danger is that we lose sight of the fact that Jesus blesses. That we do slip into the way I think of him like a stern school teacher or like Father Christmas. And we forget that Jesus gives good things, that he blesses. And if you are a church member, I would like you now please either to pull out your mobile phone, if you have one, uh, or to pull out a notebook or a diary or a hand, if you have nothing upon which to write, and I would like you to write somewhere in your personal so-called organizer or your phone or wherever it is, a task for this week. You can take the boy out of the classroom. I used to be a school teacher, but you never quite take the classroom out of the boy. I still set homework. I would love each of us this week to read this Bible passage, Ephesians 1, verses 3 to 14. And it's a wonderful passage in the Bible that talks about how Jesus blesses us, how he showers us with good things. And I would love as a church family for us to read that and give thanks to Jesus for the good things that he gives us. Let me say a prayer for us now. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you so much that you are in the blessing business. We thank you that still today in heaven, you love to bless your followers. And we pray that you would help each of us, wherever we are with you, to understand more of what it means to be blessed by you. Amen.